Yeah, Astros won. Astros won. Yes. I have never been such a huge baseball fan in my life until now. Just kidding. I've always loved watching baseball. I've always, always loved going to the baseball games growing up. I always enjoyed playing in my backyard with my friends and my street because we grew up in a cul-de-sac. But today, you guys, Houston Astros made history. We're going to celebrate today with some orange and blue makeup. Just for you Astros. Just for you. Alright, so we're going to start off with our primer. Always, always don't, I can't say it enough. You must have primer. Even if you're not wearing makeup and you have great skin, you want to keep take care of your skin primer it'll close up them pores for you make them small shrink them up it's just all around just great stuff so we always do the primer so we can put that protective barrier against our skin and our makeup oh my nose is doing a lot better this week with getting back into my actual like face washing routine. I can't believe how much two days just sleeping in the cold can just throw your skin out of whack. Craziness. All right, let's get this all rubbed in. If you are just joining us, my name is Christina Welfa. I am a yellow status presenter with a company called Unique. And today we're gonna have some fun with some orange and blue. Excuse me. Just wiping my hands off. If you... What am I going to do today? We are going to do some eyebrows. If you are catching the replay, hashtag replay below in the comments. So I can... Say, hey, what's going on? How you doing, girl? A boy, man, who's ever watching the replay. So I'm just using my, of course, obsession palette. Love this stuff. Everything that I am using is unique products. Ever done. Just filling in those eyebrows. My kiddos are in the rut. At least my two younger ones are in the rut of not taking naps. It's driving me insane because I can't get things done that I need to get done. Because they're banging the doors and yelling and screaming and, like, well, screaming as in, like, they're giggling. You know, ha playing around. And I'm just like, no, this needs to stop. But I know Ms. Lillian is getting to... Where she's getting out of her nap, her nap routine, but still, she needs to stay on it just a few more, few more months. A few more months. I guess you can catch everything on my website that I am using. I'm going to pin that in the comments here. I'm sure you're hearing me type right now. But I am using everything is unique great stuff so you can go check it out I am excited about this month's customer kudos our customer kudos are like they package little bundles for us at a discount and do, have you guys checked out that new palette anniversary exclusive anniversary palette the palette I'm talking about this face right here is a glittered. It's glitterified. I'm excited for that one. And I'm, we're going to do a little bit of stuff with um, a palette five and the splurge cream because you get splurge cream shadow, you get the splurge cream, the splur, the cream shadow brush, and um, and you get to pick an opulent lipstick of your choice. I love like those those lipsticks. The normal lipsticks, is what the opulent lipsticks are, are so so creamy and smooth on your lips it doesn't dry out they are little wonderful little things that comes in those little itty tiny bottles 
that I have not like you know I've tried many variety of lipsticks that they just feel so drying but not this oh my gosh I'm a I'm a, I have become I've never been a lip girl I've become a lipstick person like it is unbelievable Getting my palette on here. This is the darker brown going on. Alright, 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 alright. Wipe that brush off a little bit. All right, get the cream highlighter, the pink. I use the flat end of that brow artist brush, and I always like to do it this way because it helps with getting those fine lines, getting making a straight line. I relax your eye, child. I'm talking to myself. So awesome. We don't have cable. We don't have satellite. We are a Roku Apple TV watching family. Been that way for quite a while. We actually enjoy it because I don't have to worry about, we don't have to worry about commercials interrupting what we're watching. We can wait for a whole season of a show to get onto Netflix or Hulu or I, I even, I watch, I use Hulu a lot because I watch shows that I can get the next day. I don't have to wait for the season to be finished and get on Netflix. That's one of the perks of Hulu. But we listened it on. Uh, we listened through the radio, ESPN's radio, and oh my gosh, I can't. Believe, I stayed up to eleven o'clock listening to that. Cause I was asking my husband, I was like, can we watch this? Can we get this, you know, through our Roku? Cause some of the apps that you can get on Roku, you can, um, watch like TV. Like we watch a couple of Longhorn football games. Cause you know, I'm a Longhorn fan. Shout out to all my Longhorn fans, people watching this. But yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Comment below where you're watching from. I'd love to see where this, where everyone is watching from. Okay, so, eyebrows check done. Just added the wax finished. Okay, so, like I was saying, with our new, our customer kudos this month, you get that beautiful, gorgeous anniversary edition palette. It's a limited time. It's only for this month only. And you get your choice of a splurge cream shadow, any choice, whatever choice you want to do. And you get the splurge, the whatever, we're going to call it the splurge cream brush, but it's the cream shadow brush. And then you get to pick your own color of the opulence lipstick, you know, which is like your normal lipstick. Again, your color of choice. And when I was reading up on it, looking at it, because I was so excited because I love the Addiction palettes. These shadow palettes are my favorite. Um, other than the old, the retired, so sad, retired um, loose pigment powders. So here's like your, your normal lipstick, opulence lipsticks. So you get a choice of that. So what I was reading up is that they say to bring out the best color with that palette is you're going to take your splurge cream shadow, any color. Um, it, they say to use like a, I'm a, I guess I'm going to say a, um, a matte one, but something that's, that's not super bright. Like we have like a really bright blue one and a bright purple one, a royal one. But anyway, they say to put on the cream shadow. So I am taking extravagant which is that gold that I used a little bit of yesterday. And I figured, hey, this is kind of bringing in a little bit of orange, but it's not like, it's gonna be yellow undertones, but we're gonna hit that up with one of the colors from the palette five. So they say what to do is to go ahead and put on, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. 
what am I doing? What is wrong with me? I forgot the cream, the eye primer. We're just gonna wipe that off. Handy dandy little cleansing cloth right there. Guys, don't forget this. This is gonna bring your true color out. It's gonna keep your eye shadows on long, all day, all day, every day, through winter, winter rain, snow, ice. Don't forget that. Don't be a dummy like me and forget it. But anyway, so you're going to put the cream shadow on. So I'm putting on Extravagant. Let's, begin. Let's, let's try this again. We're going to put on Extravagant. And like I said, it's like the, that gold color. A gold orange color. So I know this is going to be bright and it's not, you know, it's not really, um... Houston colors quite yet, but bear with me, we're getting there. I'm just patting that all over my eye. And to kind of dull this brightness down, to get it to that orange color, we're going to hit it up with, we're going to let this dry up a bit, because it is a cream and it dries to a, pow a powder, which calls for amazingness, amazing blendability is we're going to top this color off with a color from Addiction Palette 5, which is that rainbow, sunset, unicorn, gorgeous color palette. So I'm just patting it on with the cream shadow. I think I'm going to put in a little transitioning color. I'll probably do like a brown color just to kind of keep it um it doesn't overpower the orange and the blue that i'm gonna be doing here today be sure to get right below right on your lash line at the top there What's great is that you can just keep adding. If you wanted to, this to be super vibrant, keep on packing on. If you don't, you know, just leave it as it is. So, while that is drying to a powder, let's get that transition color on. I am going to use that, a brown, a pretty a light brown from Palette One, which is Chipper. It's my favorite. This is a great, great color. Great transition color for it anyone it's my favorite so I'm just gonna take my crease brush and just tap it on in there tap it on and then dust it off and like hooded eyes you guys hooded eyes so you keep it open and you just move just draw that straight line over straight line over and this is just like I said I'm just doing this brown color to kind of just dull it down I don't want to overpower this gold and the blue that I am going to be a uh, blue eyeliner. We're going to use that dip and draw eyeliner today that I have going on. If you guys really are enjoying yourself so far, hit that share. <laughs> Excuse me, hit that share button. <coughs> <coughs> it's a choke on some cereal. <coughs> Let's see how many people we can get watching this afternoon. So again, just straight line. And I just bring it down on the V. Woo, woo. You see, like the brown is not overpowering that gold so much. So it's going to be great. It's going to work out just great. Hello, hello everyone. How are you guys doing this fine Thursday afternoon? I can't believe we went all last weekend. This past weekend, we get warm, we got cold, freezing cold weather, and then bam, it is 80 degrees today. What's up with that? I feel like I'm living in Florida. <clears throat> I'm gonna 
gonna take that deluxe brush. So now that powder, um, the cream shadow has um, dried up a bit, so I can actually kind of blend this up some. Just blend that in there. Just blend those raw edges and just blend up. Just blend, just soften out the edges there. And again on this side. Probably bringing that gold up just a little bit more, but I'm adding another color on top of the gold, so it'll all work out. Alright, so what I plan to go right on top of the extravagant, you see that gold? It does look a bit orange, like I was having orange problems today. Don't know why. Is I'm going to take suspicious right there. Suspicious. So if see it's this one, I it, it's to me was just too dark of an orange to be Houston Astros um, color, but I added it to um, on my hand when I was figuring out what color I wanted to do today because Astros. Um, it brightened it up so much and it looked beautiful with on top of the extravagant. You see. And it just doles down the extravagance so much more. And it brings it down to a an orange, a beautiful orange golden color. You see that? You see what I did there? You see what I did there? So again, with the... This is what you can do with the new palette. Is you get, you, you're able to put the shadow, the pressed colors you know from the palette the eyeshadow from the palette right on top of the cream shadow and it's just it brings out it does wonderful beautiful things with having those two colors meshed together and I believe because they're glitter so I'm thinking I need to read up more don't take my word on it I need to read up more but I think these kind of have these um they're glitter iridescent ish colors so it's gonna work Marvelous. Very similar to this palette, palette five, palette, palette five. So see, it just it. We're getting there. We're getting to the orange. Getting to an orange. A little bit more. So it really doled down that extravagant, extravagant color. And I'm just gonna put this right in my eye corner of my eye. I probably should have put like a little bit of white on there, just because probably do that here in a bit all right so I added that color so I gotta blend it again oh uh, when you add a new color blend it blend y'all you cannot go wrong with blending Oh, you guys, what was your, when y'all were watching, those who were able to watch on TV, what was y'all's reaction watching this game last night? I want to know. Tell me. Tell me below. I want to know. Because like I said, we don't have TV. We just listen to it on our, uh, through the radio app somewhere. Um, and so, all you know, I want to know what y'all, what was going through y'all's mind, everything. Tell me. This is one of the times I wish we were down closer to family so we can see, we can see everybody and just be like, yeah. All right, so we're going with the dip and draw eyeliner. Here comes the blue. I'm just kidding. We're going to bring some of that um, suspicious down below. Just a little bit. Not too much. Just below. Alright, see, just a little bit. Not too much, it's not harsh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, here we go, dip and draw. Here's that blue. I am using polarized. Look at that, it's like electric blue going on right here. And I think it's gonna look fabulous. Now you can definitely, you don't have to use this polarized, but if you have um, the eyeliner and uh, pencil eyeliner, precarious, which is like a navy blue, that look good too but I was like I want to be bright today so we are going to I've been practicing all afternoon 
we're going to attempt this wing because when you have hooded eyes trying to get a wing eyeliner is no fun because we have this little flap to go through so you can see like my crease extends pretty much right there so for me you just kind of have to watch that when you're doing this on yourself just look to see where your crease goes to because you're gonna have to draw over that crease and you don't want to close your eyes because when you open it it's just gonna look it, it's not gonna look right so you have to draw this on with your eye open for those attempting winged eyeliner with hooded eyes so for me I just kind of and you want to go right the tip of your eyebrow so my eyebrow not there my eyebrow is ending like right here so I need to go like right here so I'm angling it and my eye my eyelashes get out of the way and just gonna draw a line I drew a really little line just because I can always add to it later so here's the thing I don't have a table to make my hands sturdy so that's probably a good thing to have but, so you got your line, and now you're going to come just a little bit. I'm going to get a little bit more because I don't want this to be not work. Because I've been practicing all day. So, my eye is still open. Okay, I'm just getting a little bit more of this. I'm going to steady my hand, hold my hand. And you're going to go at an angle, at a diagonal right over there right to your end all right and then it's gonna look so it's gonna look like this for hooded eyes it's gonna look weird but that's what works because when my eyes are open you can see that it's very it's colored in there like I can't like I can't do this because that's not how it works for hooded eyes. It's going to make the wing, once I let go of my my skin there, it's going to, you know, it pops right back into place. So now it looks like it's together. It's connected together. So now you can close your eye and not poke your eye like that. But able to draw this line now. And again, with hooded eyes, you want to draw a very thin line. Good thing that didn't dry up yet. That would have been a pain in the butt to get off. You want to draw a very thin line. Because if you draw it too thick, that's going to cover all of the color you have on your lid. So you want to go as thin as possible, but that's how you do it winged eyeliner for all my hooded eye lovelies and you can kind of play with it right down here just right in the corner just make it a little more smoother but there you see that is looking awesome that is one fly wing that wing is zing 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 Ooh, I actually got some in my eye. Because I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. So trying to do this in the, the phone makes things quite interesting. All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see if we can replicate on the other side. That's the thing. Like, practice can be perfect. You can get it laid out. But it's just trying to practice getting them evened out. So, again, I look and I have to keep my eye open. I cannot pull this pull my skin taut because it will it will not look right so I go I kind of almost followed the line here but I also make sure I'm going in the keep the angle at the end of my eyebrow so again to help with this we're going to draw right here right there and it may take a, while, a few times to get this. Trust me, I was doing this while Therese was taking a quiz. And I would get like one eye looked, looks really good and then the other eye was like, mm-mm. You are not doing a wing today. Alright, and then 
angle it the other way. Boom. Okay. So again, it's going to look weird for us, but that's just how it goes. Alright, and then just fix this. Thin line. Go slow. And then bam. There is the wing for my hooded eye lovelies. And then you can always add if you want it to go a little bit longer. But you can like fix it up, fill it in. But it, it is going to look, when, you, when your eye is open, it looks great. It looks fabulous. And then when it's closed, it's going to have like this little dip. It's, it's weird, I know. Get a little bit more. Just to fix this side. Hello, peoples. Hello, hello. How are we doing? Because I have to get over that hump that crease in my eye so probably make this side but again practice makes perfect I can already tell that this side is a lot thicker than this side so if you just want to even it out just even it out Boom, now there is the orange and the blue. Huh? Huh? Yep. Let's see what's going on right there. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, I love the dip and draws because if you do mess up, you can just kind of wipe it away. Erase it like that. And then just start over. I'm gonna use my mirror for this one. Like I said, like this slide looks good, and then they're like, oh, well, you know. So, well, practice makes perfect. That's where I'm going to go because I don't want to keep you guys on here forever with me trying to fix that. Okay, moving on to mascara. Using Epic. Love this stuff. Just doing one coat today. And I'm not going to do a highlight under my eyebrow today just because of all the awesomeness I think it would take away from it you could definitely do one you could do like a matte highlight like elated from palette one or just keep it as is today I am just gonna keep it as is Oh, I think my kids are playing. <laughs> my kids learned how to play poker today. Not today, but over the weekend. Just for fun. No gambling, just for fun. So they're like, hey mom, can you play poker with me when you're done? Sure, kids.
That was one of the games they were playing, uh, they learned to play this weekend. One of the games I wanted to, I wanted to teach Teresa, I think she's old enough to learn, is Phase 10. That is a fun game. I forget how much, like, I forget how much fun it is until I start playing it. At camp. <laughs> so I see a trend here. Let's play Phase 10 at camp, but no. It really is. I love the game, and I, we have it. We actually have it, but I just don't. It's, my, our kids aren't just up there yet. Okay, let's get our foundation on. Using that cream foundation in organza. Just spraying my blending bud with some rose water. That, oh, it looks pretty good too. I'm amazed. Practice makes perfect, y'all. And don't get frustrated. If you can't get it the first time, don't, mm -mm, don't get frustrated. Just keep going. Keep on going. Or laugh at yourself like I do. A lot. <laughs> Alright, just getting some from Lair. Here we go. Just patting it on. And I like using the blending bud damp. When you use the blend, most blending buds, you should use damp. I think, yeah, I find it, it does a heck of a lot better job than a dry sponge. Let's get it down. See, look at that. It does a pretty good job. There's some redness. I ain't got redness right now. Boingy, boingy, boingy. I'm just bouncing around. I can tell how elastic my face is. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What's going on, Marissa? Very carefully, very carefully, <laughs> very carefully. Oh, I just could use this side. Forget, forget to have more than one side with this. All right, awesome sauce, awesome sauce. Let's get some concealer going on. As you can see, I got still got some stuff going on there. I'm using Skin Perfecting Concealer in Scarlet. I, I use the brightest one because it helps to brighten up my face more. So you're not noticing those bags under my eyes. Because like I said last night, I have become a night owl. I also use it to help clean up right there, clean up the sides. And it just draws, it draws the attention away from what's going on underneath. <laughs> it's funny to listen to the kids when they're playing games together because you're like you just can't wait to hear the argument like at least in my house I mean how many 
raise your hand and down below if that is in your household as well. Like, seriously. I cannot be the only one. And then you just gotta laugh at it. I, I laugh at it all the time. Can't be doing none of that. Alright, let's get that blending butt again. sponge out that concealer. I love doing this way. Ever since I started doing it this way, it's awesome. Oh, it does a lo I love it. <laughs> All right, just getting this concealer on and we're going to move on to the next thing. All right, see. Beautiful. Let's do this side right there. Ugh. Okay, let's add some definition. And we're gonna add some blush and we're gonna add some we're gonna sparkly blush today. Are we using bronzer and hermosa? Y'all have to say my, my my poor bronzer got dropped and busted it like split in half it still kept intact so i took some rubbing alcohol and uh smushed it together i was so sad when that happened i was like how in the world did this happen but you guys that's what happens don't drop your makeup don't drop it With bronzer, you can actually bring this down your neck, contour your neck too. I didn't know that. Learn something new every day. I'm actually gonna do more of my forehead today since I have my hair pulled back. Damn, damn. I need to fix my eye there where I rubbed off that. I had to fix my eyeliner there and down the neck. Hey, 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 what's going on? All right. I'm actually going to get this blending brush and kind of fix up this eye right here. I still got a little bit more left on this brush. Ta -da! And then blend. Alright, you guys. Ooh, I'm excited. Alright, let's do this limited edition blush. This has got like a gold, it's a metallic blush. So this actually kind of has like a gold shimmer to it. And I was I figured, hey, we're gonna we're going all out. Let's bring in the golds. Bring in the golds. So this is the color Serene. Beautiful, gorgeous color. And this, this is still on, you guys. You can still grab this while you can before the stuff goes out. So I pop that right on my cheek. And it's a very light pink blush. But as I when I get into the different lighting it kind of it goes from a light pink to this gold color so I'm just kind of tapping it on and then I'll just sweep it up so it kind of like luminizes me hey you know I'm already luminized from the uh, here you go. Get some of that. Get, get. All right, and we're going to add, we're going to luminize up even more. We're going to add some of that iridescent luminizer. The actual powder luminizer, which is that pearly, pearly white. And get our fan brush here. And just, doo -doo -doo. I love doing this. It's so fun. Doo -doo -doo. I love the fan brush. It's so cool. All right, and then like I said, right there, right above where you put the blush, luminize them cheekbones. 
luminize them. And don't forget your eyebrows for all my hooded lovelies. See now, I, now I, I am, I am shining bright. Right there, right above the eyebrows. That is gonna create that lift, make your eyes look bigger. I don't think my kids are laughing at me. <laughs> and then I'm going down the bridge of my nose. And then right on the tip of my nose. Just the tip right there. Boop. And then I'm going to do my Cupid's bow today. Do I want to do, yeah, I want to do this before I put the lip gloss on. So right there. Just highlighting the essentials. Get more of that tip. See? Oh, yeah. Right there. You see that shining? You see it? This is why we have luminizers, so we can shine. But it's also great for those who have older skin to bring that bounce back. Get that bounce back into your face. Okay. Now I'm going pretty 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 uh pretty tame with the lip today. And I'm going to use a pouty lip liner and this livid lip gloss. This has been my favorite. This is a great gold. It's 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 a dark gold, almost brown. It looks brown on the pins, but it's a gorgeous color. So I'm just lining my lips. And again, I use Pat. Patty can go with anything, y'all. It's it's a great color to go with. And I figured this will be great. To go with all with that electric blue, that polarized blue going on on my, with my um, my eyeliner, you know. So I just color that in, filled in my lips with this, and then I'll top it off with some livid lip gloss, which is also so great for all you Longhorn fans out there. But we're just bringing in some more orange. and ta-da mm, 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 mm. awesome I'm gonna fill that in a little bit more, more. but there you go you guys what you think of them astro colors yes alright you guys I so happy they won the world series now I gotta go to um now I gotta go uh, get myself a Houston Astro shirt I lived in Houston my husband's from Houston I don't have an Astro shirt what's up with that all right, y'all. Y'all have a great day, great Thursday, and I will catch y'all later. Bye!